Very good. Matter of fact, I can see Rudolph. I can even see the triangle. Rudolph, Frosty, and Park. Man, Gordo, this is absolutely spectacular. Men and women of Australia, the decision we will make for our country on the 2nd of December is a choice between the past and the future. This was Apollo Control, 89 hours, 15 minutes, ground elapsed time. We can see, uh, we're right over South America, and of course we can see up the Gulf Coast, and that looks like Houston's uh, covered with clouds, but uh, poetically enough, we can see the Cape. At least we can see Florida. How about that? Eines neuen Deutschlands dass sie hier ankündigt, der Spaten ist ein Symbol einer neuen Gemeinschaft geworden. Where did you live? At 3722 West St. Place, where the plane tail is, that's where my house was. How did you find out about what happened? One of the fellows down at work told me a plane crash hit him over this way. You left work? Well, I quit at 3.30, and a foreman brought me over here, brought me home. Is your house destroyed? Yes, it is. All that's left is a garage. Total loss? Yes. What kind of a family do you live with? My mother and sister and a German Shepherd dog. Have you been able to get in contact with No, them? I haven't heard. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if I got a mother and sister and a dog. Another eyewitness to the plane crash was 16-year-old Chris Nevins. First, I was going into my friend's garage, and... Uh, we heard this uh, jet, and all of a sudden we heard like a sonic boom. And so we came running out, and I looked and I saw, I saw the plane like hit the uh, garage and go through it. And then uh, I saw it go up in flames, and I ran over there, and I could see the pilot or the co-pilot in the cockpit hanging out. Uh, his arm was, and he was in, still in the cockpit. And I could hear people screaming, and people were trying to get at him. That's correct. Okay. Hey, Ron, listen, this ridge you're coming on over, just stick your hand out the hatch and grab a rock. Go ahead, Gordo. Okay, uh, your parallel seems to be Hey, shipping. we got the landing site, Gordo. Okay, hey, I'll... Gordo, we got the landing site. We're coming right over the front of it. Stand by a minute. You can see the slide. I think you can see the great cross. Get up a Irwin Allen's production of The Poseidon Adventure. Of 1,400 people on board, only a handful will survive. This is their story. Four days. Four days. Engine arm is asking. Okay, I'm going to get the pro. 99, proceeded. Three, two, one. Ignition. Run right away, Houston. Reds are good. Ag side.
1041. Roger, turn left heading 360. Maintain 2000. Vectors to 9 left final. Everyone is absorbed by the crisis, so they don't hear the audio alert announcing a change in altitude. Eastern 401, I'll go out west just a little further if we can here and see if we can get this light to come on. Eastern 401, how are things coming along out there? Hey, we did some of the altitude here. What? Uh, we're still at 2,000, right? Hey, what's happening here? I am confident that we will soon achieve that goal. But we are not going to allow an election deadline or any other kind of deadline to force us into an agreement which would be only a temporary truce and not a lasting peace.